Hello everyone, I am your host Ayushi Kara Setia and welcome back to our channel Pabli. In this video we are going to learn how you can sync data from MySQL to MailChimp account automatically. So first let us understand what these software applications are all about. MySQL is a database management software and MailChimp is an email marketing platform. So the idea here is that whenever you add the details of a customer into your MySQL database table, automatically the same customer should be added as a new subscriber to your MailChimp subscriber list so that you can send the offers and promotional emails to that particular customer as and when required. For this, we need to create a connection between MySQL and MailChimp. So in order to create a connection, we are going to use a software application named Pabli Connect. So basically, Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating both these software applications automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even the non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So in this particular automation we are using, we are adding the details of MySQL into the MailChimp account. So not only MailChimp, you can use Mail, uh, MailerLite, MailerCloud, SendInBlue or any other email marketing. You can add the customer details in any other email marketing platform. So let us learn the integration process now on my screen. So welcome back to my screen. Here let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes. And you are going to get 100 tasks free every month. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, I will simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as MySQL to MailChimp integration. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Public Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this use case, we want to sync the data from MySQL to MailChimp. So open this trigger window, choose the application name as MySQL. Select the trigger event as new row in a table. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. Now it is asking for the database username and database password. So you have to enter your login details over here. So I have, I have entered my username and password over here. Now it is asking for the host. Enter your MySQL host name and this is the example given over here. For that I will just take you to my MySQL account. And here you can find the URL. So I am just going to copy this URL from here. Okay. And I will be pasting the same URL over here as the host. Okay. Now it is asking for the database. So you can see that the database name is dbuilder in my case. So I am entering the same over here. Please enter your database name over here. Okay. Now it is asking for the port. So the port is also visible over here. That's, that is 3306 in my case. So you have to enter your port over here. I am entering 3306 and let's click on save. And now my SQL account is connected to Pabli Connect just because I was already logged into my MySQL account. So make sure before creating a connection you are logged into your MySQL account. Now here we have to select the table name. So I have created some tables in my MySQL account over here that is customer data, salesforce lead, example and others. So we want customer data table to be accessed in this particular integration. So I will be selecting the same table name over here. So as we have created a connection between MySQL and Pabli Connect, all the table names are captured over here. So I will be selecting my customer data table name over here. Now here we have to select the unique column. Select unique primary key column as so we can fetch the new updated records properly. Usually you need to select your unique column ID over here. So here we can find all the columns name. I am selecting column ID over here. Now an important instruction is mentioned. This MySQL trigger will check for updated rows in every one hour. So if I enter a new detail over here in this particular table, 
the details will be captured after one hour only so i'm not entering the new details and when i click on save and send test request it is going to capture the latest response it means kuldeep jain details will be captured over here in pabli connect so let's click on save and send test request okay and here we can see the responses received and the details of the kuldeep jain are captured over here name as kuldeep jain his email address as jaink123 at gmail.com and status as pending so now we want to sync this data from mysql to mailchimp for that come to this action step choose the application name as mailchimp select the action event as add new member with custom fields click on connect click on add new connection and now it is asking for the token enter your api key you can find the above api key by logging to your mailchimp account extras and move to api keys for that i'll take you to my mailchimp account so this is my mailchimp dashboard here we'll be moving to the profile option click on profile and here we can find the extras option click on extras and click on api keys and when we scroll down here we can find the api keys so if you want to create a new key simply click on this create a key button or else i'll simply copy this api key from here and i'll be pasting the same api key over here as a token now it is asking for the data center enter the data center example us19 which appears as a sub domain in your mailchimp account url okay so i'll take you to my mailchimp account url and here we can find us6 in my case so you have to copy your data center and you have to paste it over here okay us6 is my data center so i have pasted the same and let's click on save and now the mailchimp account is connected to pabli connect just because i was already logged into my mailchimp account also so make sure before creating a connection you are logged into your mailchimp account also now here you have to select your audience list name which is automatically captured as pabli connect in my case if you have created created multiple list from the drop down you can select your specific list name now it is asking for the email address of the subscriber or the customer so we have already got the email address over here from uh, mysql account so we are going to map this details now okay let us map the email address come to mysql and let us map it in the same way if you have the tag details you can enter it over here select the status of the subscriber so you can select it as per your requirement i am selecting it as subscribed here we have to map give the first name and the last name so we have got the name all together over here so we'll be mapping the first name only not the last name okay let us map it from mysql we are not having the phone details so i'm just leaving it as blank and let's click on save and send test request okay and here we can see the response is received it means kuldeep jain is added as a new subscriber to your mailchimp account let's check it for this we'll move to the all contacts section okay let's scroll down and here we can see that jain k123 at gmail.com kuldeep jain is added as a new subscriber to your mailchimp subscriber list and in this way our integration is working fine so let's move back to public connect and let us save this workflow first data saved successfully okay now we have created an automation between mysql account and mailchimp so next time whenever you are going to add a new data to your mysql database table automatically the same customer details will be added as a new subscriber to your mailchimp account so we will not be able to check this in the real time just because i have already informed you that the trigger here is polling based and it is going to capture the response after every one hour so if i enter the details right now we will be able to see the response after one hour only okay so let's minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now so first we have created an integration between mysql account and pabli connect then pabli connect has captured all the details that you have entered in your mysql table and using those details automatically a new subscriber or a new member was added to your mailchimp subscriber list and in this way we have created a successful integration between mysql and mailchimp using pabli connect so not just these software applications you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using pabli connect in case of any queries you can visit our pabli forum to check the pricing details of pabli connect you can visit this particular url also the link of pabli connect and this workflow is available in the description box you can clone the same workflow into your account directly if you really like this video please comment share and subscribe thank you everyone